I started this channel back in 2015, but I uploaded my first video sometime around 2019. Fast forward a year later, I decided to take Roblox development seriously, as I quickly realized that, that developers are turning their hobbies into a job, and who wouldn't love getting paid for doing their hobbies? With that in mind, I'm going to take you through five years of my game development journey on Roblox, so expect to be stun locked at how amazing I was back then. My personal journey began borrowing games with scripts, and by borrowing, I mean completely stealing on copy lock games and changing the maps as my coding skills are and were non-existent. Long story short, none of them went anywhere if that wasn't obvious enough. However, I did eventually make my first bit of profit after making an entire map dedicated to One Piece game. That took me roughly 40 hours to make. Before I tell you how much I made, run to the comments and write your guesses. Drum roll, please. Yes, I made a whole 2,000 Robux, which is equivalent to a whopping $7. By the time, it was my first bit of profit and I was excited to see how much further I could take it. This game featured incredible sailing mechanics. And definitely not all the scripts I took from the Uncopulate game were completely broken. Nice. If you know the original version of this game, the, uh, the Uncopulate game, shout out to you because that game was incredibly fun about four years ago. Moving on, now that you guys have seen that abomination of a map, it's time to move on to the best simulator in existence, which I made a few years back. You see, after making that incredible amount of Robux, there was nothing holding me back from making my own game. Luckily, I found a scripter and we ended up going 50-50 and actually releasing the game, which was a major shocker to me as finding scripters is possible nowadays, at least for me it is. Oh yeah, and did I also mention that damn near every asset was from an asset pack again? Although I do give myself credit as the map overall does look quite nice. Excuse the uh, scuffed UI, it's because uh, it used to be a group place and now I uh, moved it and saved it onto my, one of my personal places. So all the UI has kind of disappeared because it's saved in that specific group. As you can see the map is really nice, you have different ranks, uh, you can craft different crates. The goal of the game essentially is you use your axe and your pickaxe and you chop trees down with your axe and you mine rocks with your pickaxe and then you combine those materials over here the crafting station and you essentially craft different tiers of crates and you sell them and then you can buy better equipment i had to restart the game real quick as my screen was getting cluttered with all that crappy ui but i'm pretty sure you guys get the gist overall i've i've, I've shown this map before um as you can see you can buy different crates with different pets here and you can equip them. I have this duck at the moment. And then you have the Robux store here. Boring! In terms of how successful the game was, here were the stats. It had around 550k visits by the time it shut down and generated around 300 to 400k Robux. I advertised it using sponsors and ads as well as doing a commission for a YouTuber and in return he would make a video on the game for me. Overall, I probably profited around 30 to 40k. I don't think it was a huge amount, although it was still a huge leap from what I had made from my previous commission. If you want to check out early gameplay, you can check out his video. It is in Italian, I believe, um, but you guys can get a brief look of the gameplay. And spoiler alert, it's not great. Everything that you have seen so far was the early stages of my development years. With that in mind, my skill set has increased drastically since then, which led me to take on jobs on a commission basis. As I, as I was a lot more confident with my skills now. What you're currently seeing is examples of the commissions I have done over the years that have brought me to my current point. Obviously, I can't show everything because of NDAs and such, but you get the point. Now, I know you might be thinking, I've worked on the platform for around five years, yet I only have one actual game to show for it. You're right, and I do plan to change that. How, you might ask? Well, most of you guys will be aware that I am working on an RPG game. However, I am also working on a project in hopes to fund the RPG project more videos for, for those two projects will be coming out over the next few weeks. Moving on to what probably is the latest biggest project I've worked on that people have actually played I guess is Weaponcraft. I was brought onto the team to change pre-existing environments and improve upon them as well as create new ones. What you're seeing currently is the demo for Weaponcraft that is based in an area called Viridian Forest, a map that I completely recreated from what it originally was. The demo is essentially a small taste of what the game is like with some neat cutscenes and creatures. This map was revamped I believe a few times while I worked on Weaponcraft and what's great about it is you can see my own improvement throughout working on this project with the before and afters. I mean look at this tree model. 
Whilst working on Weaponcraft, I created several different maps and dungeons. This was by far the biggest project I worked on ever at the time and had taught me a lot about the importance of communication. When you are working on these large scale projects, to keep your client satisfied, ask as many questions as possible and request the references, concepts and whatever you can get so you can understand their vision as much as possible. Every map features unique locations that the player could explore and could find different creatures in. Special points of interest were also added to house things such as mini bosses and entrances to dungeons. Every zone in Weaponcraft had a unique theme so I was tasked to match the environment with the creatures that lived within it as well as structures that would make sense in those zones. Now if you're new to building or environment design and things like that, you need to make sure your environments really match what's living around there. So if you have like grass type enemies, you need to make it like your environments like a forest type thing. Because if you add them in like a lava zone with forest creatures, it really wouldn't make sense. And that goes for everything such as creatures, uh, maybe the clothes your characters wear or your NPCs wear, anything like that. That pretty much sums up my involvement with Weaponcraft and overall it had taught me a lot and I have built some great connections through it. Everything you have seen so far is only a small portion of the games I have worked on. I mean I literally have a hundred plus places I have worked on and boy do 90% of them suck. If you have made it this far into the video I really appreciate it and want to thank you guys for helping me reach over 8300 subscribers. We are well on our way to 10,000, which is a huge milestone. I am aiming to release weekly videos in similar fashion to this one. So feedback is very much appreciated as this is a completely different editing style than what I'm used to. And it takes a lot longer to reward you guys for staying this long into the video and to get my eight minutes. I will show you a brief glimpse of the project I'm working on. If you have seen this video of mine in the past, then you know what this map is from. However, I am continuing it solo and will show you the development of it next week. And trust me, you won't want to miss it. This game will be somewhat of a simulator, but bear in mind the goal is to fund the RPG project through this game at the end of the day. I will need a scripter eventually, so if you are interested, shoot me a DM on Twitter and I'll respond as fast as I can. But other than that, that is all you're getting until my next video, uh, which I will be showing my development process through this project. I'm intending to fully focus on this project before the RPG to push it out and hopefully make some funds for the RPG to make it a better game. That's been it for five years of my game development journey. Bear in mind everyone's journey is completely different and everyone starts at different points. Just make sure to enjoy it. But other than that, don't forget guys to give me some feedback down below for these types of videos and this type of editing as I am new to it. And thank you guys so much for sticking by and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.